we've come out to the city to get some stuff done that just can't be done in Seward. We need at least two new tires for the motorhome to make the trip. And also we're getting some uh, work done on the trailer to uh, fix this problem that we have with the bike rack. The uh, problem is, uh, well, I'll show you when we get there. But essentially it's a pain in the ass and we're gonna get it fixed. When we come out to Anchorage to go camping, not that this is camping at all, we tend to avoid the RV parks unless we have to because they're less than desirable. So our favorite spot to come hide out is on the south end of town, which is the nicer part of Anchorage, the Cabela's lot. They are super friendly here. You're allowed to stay 48 hours at a time. Uh, there's a dump station for $5 and uh, yeah, just go in and show them a little retail therapy or retail appreciation, sorry when uh, you get here or before you leave. It's a wonderful spot. There's a Target right across the way here so you can go get some groceries. Yeah, it's the best deal in town. You might notice that I'm in a completely different car today. We have our expedition in the shop. It had an exhaust leak and it ended up being the head gasket which ended up turning into a uh, cylinder head because of a strip bolt. But the uh, expedition is for sale right now and this uh, hiccup is causing us a little bit of a headache. Um, we would ideally like to sell the Expedition before we hit the road, but how do you sell a vehicle if it's sitting in the shop? Uh, the Expedition's great, we love it, but we ultimately need a, a big old diesel truck. And uh, we want to get a diesel truck when we get home and have it be the type of vehicle that we hold on to for 20 years. So, I am... Uh, Hoping for the best. It'd be nice to get the uh, expedition sold on like the day of our departure so we have a vehicle to drive around, but you know, such is life, we'll take it as it goes. The first mission of the day is to head over to Tagalong Trailers. Last night when we came into town, we dropped the trailer off over his shop and he's going to uh, work on a bike rack solution for us because the per current situation is a joke and needs to get resolved. I first met Dave and Billy uh, from Tagalong Trailers earlier this summer. We resolved a tire wear issue with them. They ended up replacing all the hardware underneath the trailer and it turned out to be a huge blessing because we took it to another big trailer type of place in town and they said we need to replace the axles, the spindles, the bearings, the springs, the whole nine yards. They just didn't really diagnose the issue. They just blanket said you need everything. Well I didn't really buy into that. I uh, looked a little further. I found a little business, some guys that weld which is what we needed, some guys that knew trailers and it ended up being Dave and Billy from Tagalong. They are uh, pretty awesome. They took a look at the trailer and the wheels just started turning and they said, you know, you got a spring and hardware issue. Your axles are fine. And I was like, well, that's great. So we had them replace the springs and all the hardware under there. And it is awesome now that yeah, trailer got a little bit of a lift kit with the new uh, fresh springs and the tires are wearing wonderfully. And it was a fraction of the price of uh, what the uh, big, trailer repair place in town said. So I'm off to them and we're gonna work on a solution for our bike rack. I'm briefly going to explain the uh, situation on the trailer. What we have here is the bikes that go into the two inch receiver on the ATV. It's all fine and good, but when we drove top of the world highway last summer, the uh, bumpy road fatigued the metal on the trailer hitch, so we had to have the, tr it completely ripped the trailer hitch on the ATV. So this is not a sustainable solution for a uh, six month journey. The plan of attack is going to be, there was a spare tire right there, you can see the ring. Uh, we're gonna move the spare tire forward and put a post right here for the bikes to sit and that should clear the turning radius for the motorhome because uh, the bikes will be tucked up in there and uh, then we'll be able 
be ready to hit the road. Anchorage trips for us are always full of errands. Uh, there's just things that you can't do in Seward. You gotta do them up here. And I'm uh, now at Office Depot. We need to get something laminated. Uh, last week, the uh, Seward Journal wrote an article about our uh, upcoming trip to uh, around the lower 48. And when we were speaking with Bob, we saw this really neat, I don't know what you'd call it, but a little uh, poster uh, behind his desk, and we had to get one. So we went over to uh, Joni's at the Grazing Moose, I believe, in town, and she had them. But it's called the Holste Manifesto. I'll give you a shot of it here. So if you want to pause your screen and uh, read some of this, it is uh, beautiful. <laughs> it's kind of everything that we like to live by. It's in a plastic sheath right now, and we're going to get it laminated so it's a little more durable. Well, that was easy enough. Got it laminated, and I was able to pick their brain about printers. We need a uh, new printer for the motorhome, um, and it's got to be a low profile so it fits in the drawer underneath the couch. So I was able to you know, pick their brain a little bit. I think we're going to probably buy a printer from Costco. They just have that amazing return policy and with yeah the abuse that a printer is going to take sitting in a drawer in a motorhome it's probably going to be sizable and we just want to be able to return it when it does crap out because it's not a matter of if with printers it's kind of a matter of when and here's the final product this turned out wonderful nice and laminated very durable perfect for a motorhome well guys, I just came over to a Granger here in Anchorage and found the adhesive that I'm going to use to put the insulation on the uh, engine cover for the motorhome. So that'll be a project once we get back to Seward. But I did find good old 3M brand 90 spray adhesive. That should do the job.